Luck here from Fox 3, and I'm going to show you today how to uh, add mods to your server. And uh, just before I start, I want to mention the only mods that you should actually put on your server are mods that are required to be on the server. Um, <clears throat> that includes like asset packs, um, range, module, uh, SAMs, SAM, high number SAMs. There's several, but the ones that don't need to be on the server are the ones that need to be on your client. And that means any airplane does not need to be on the server. Same with liveries. No liveries need to be on the server. The only liveries that need to be on the server are for non-playable planes, like you want a livery on your E2 or your tankers. That's, um, that's the only ones that you would put on the server. Keep in mind, on your server, you only have um, a total of 5 gigs. So if I look at this directory here, I'm using 251 megabytes. This is my sync thing folder. Notice it's just um, on my C drive as a shortcut. Everything that goes in here actually syncs to the to the server. I have sync thing running. You can see I have two servers that I connect to. 254 is my test server, and it's paused. I'm just going to unpause it. Oops, I did pause all. Resume all. There we go. Okay, so come up here in a second. So um, what I'm going to show you now is how to do this mod. So in the mods folder, you can see I have a tech folder, nothing's in it, and there's usually a services folder in there too. I also have the logs folder. You can look in the logs, uh, the DCS logs. The old uh, log file is the previous log that uh, before the server restarted. So there's lots of good information in here if you crashed your server or you have a, um, a uh, mission that uh, fails or or you know scripting errors you can come here and find out what's wrong with it and fix it um, we don't troubleshoot your missions we just have a server for you and if you want to do things like that you should go and actually um, change uh, you know look for debug your own missions so anyway you can see I have several missions in here uh, let's go and check the server uh, running so this is my list and if I go into 254 Here's something else. Look how long this takes to load. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4. Uh, still going, still going. See how it's coming in slowly? You can see this popped up, and then pretty soon the port will change, and the title will pop in there. There it is. Now we know it's almost loaded. And then at the bottom here, we'll see... Um, see, it's got the mission. Now it's finally loaded. So <clears throat> this is the DCS site calling back to the server and if you manipulate this screen before this is fully loaded it'll erase everything on there so make sure that you just wait until you see the bottom here once you see the observer in there you know it's good to go so um, to, to do my mod first thing I'm going to do is stop the server you can't really load a mod if this if the server is running because DCS is running in the background and it has files locked so when you try to put a mod in there it doesn't exactly take so I'm gonna stop the server and I hit stop it says it's paused but it needs to stop and there you see it took you know it took several seconds for that to happen that's just because of the slowness on this uh, this from this site so that's finished and that it's done so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize come back to my mods directory tech I got nothing in there so I'm gonna go ahead and extract the mod that I'm gonna use I'm gonna use in this case the civilian assets uh, asset pack in fact I have it actually extracted right here so um, if I look in here and I look at the asset pack here's an here's I know you won't read but here's the readme file and one of the first things it tells you is where it goes and you can see it says drop the assets pack into the users username save games DCS mod tech so mods tech is what's important here in uh, on Fox 3 servers the mods folder is inside your missions folder so if I go back to it this is my missions folder that's shared and um, let me pull it up here missions and this is what it looks like on your screen you'll have missions and you'll have these directories so this mods folder is like having the mods folder in the open beta server directory on the server because it's using sync thing to catch that back up so I'm gonna take and open up my mods and open up the tech because it goes in a tech and I'm gonna go over here and look at my asset pack and I'm just gonna drag the 
drag and drop the directory into tech. Now it's going to sync it over to the, um, the server. So once that syncs, and this is this is you know how big is it? 1.58 gigs. So keep in mind also, you have a total for your missions folder that includes mods, everything, of five gigs. If you go over five gigs, we have to we have to basically delete stuff because on the servers we're very very limited on space. Uh, meaning, um, if you get too much in there, we won't be able to update it when the update comes from DCS. The last update from DCS was like 72 gigs, so we have to keep space on the server reserved. So, um, close this, open this. This is out there now, and it should be on the server now. I'm just going to verify. It says up to date. It's there, so that's a good sign. So, notice it, everything synced really nicely because it was off. So if I go back to the server interface on, uh, it won't actually take uh, until we reboot the server, right? So, you know, I could start this up, but basically I have to reboot it. So I'm going to close this, close this, go back over to my DCS folder. Now, in this folder, you have a command that you could run to reboot your server. Right click, new text document, reboot me, and reboot.me, sorry, and no text at the end. See? I do that, hit save, and this file, I'm going to sort by date created, you can see it's at the top now, this file tells the server that you're requesting a reboot. And the, there's a script on the server that runs every five minutes and looks for commands. One of the other commands is uh, get state for liberation missions, but um, when this file disappears, you know the server rebooted. So it, it could take up to five minutes. It could take less. It's, you know, run, it runs every five minutes. So uh, just wait for this to reboot, and um, you'll be in business with your new mod. So what we And we're back. So if I come over here and I look down on my missions folder, I can see that reboot me is gone. So I know that the server is rebooted. And I can go back to my screen here <clears throat> and see that it's running. And so everything's working on it, and so the asset pat pack is now installed on the server and um, working fine. So that's the best way to do it. Uh, please keep in mind uh, the things I told you in the beginning of the video, that um, the mods folder itself should not have client mods in it. You shouldn't have a folder in here called liveries ever. If you make one and install stuff, they won't end up on your server because we're not going to link the liveries. Um, deliveries are always client-based. Questions, just let us know. Make a ticket in uh, our Discord if you need help or ask community support. We have a great community of lots of super smart people that would be happy to help out. Um, and I hope you enjoy the server. Thank you.